In this video, I'm going to explain you how to start your eBay dropshipping business as a step-by-step -step guide. This video is going to be different. The reason it's going to be different because we're going to be dealing with only UK-based suppliers. So your customer can get the faster delivery time. The reason number two, it's going to be different because I'm not going to use any kind of paid tools. So this can be done 100% free. You don't need to get any subscription for any kind of tool as well. The reason number three, every single detail in this video is going to be really, really important. I'm recording this video as a complete step-by-step -step guide, so I'm not going to be skipping on any kind of information. So every single second in this video is going to be super important. So please do not skip any part of this video. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to find the product, how to find the suppliers, how to get the faster delivery time, how to actually get safe as well. So let's get started. It is super important to understand how you're going to be making money by dropshipping on eBay. And second thing a lot of people talk about is the dropshipping within eBay terms and condition or not. So these are two things are very, very super important to understand. So I'm going to explain these two things by giving you some example. It will make your life really easy. So let me share my screen and I will show you what dropshipping really is and how you're going to be making money. So this is a new eBay seller. I'm hiding their name just to pr protect their privacy, all that kind of stuff as well. So you can see they have listed this cattle right here. This is the name for the brand and the price for this one is $24.95 and they have sold two of them. Obviously, they are drop shipping because I know the supplier. I know the item. I have sold this item in the past as well. If we go to drop shipping supplier website right here, this item is only £12.50 with the free shipping. Obviously, they're going to charge VAT on it. So with the VAT, it's not going to be more than £14 or £15. So they have seen this item and this supplier is going to deliver that within two to five working days. They just simply copy the picture from here. They simply even copy the title for this particular item from here as well. And they have listed this item for $24.95 on to eBay platform. Once the seller will get the order on eBay, they will receive the address for their eBay customer. They're just simply going to take that address and they're going to order for their customer from the supplier website. So customer, the seller, eBay customer will receive the order from the dropshipping supplier. So seller himself or herself is not actually doing the packing. They are not doing the shipping. They are just simply working as a middle man once they receive the order they just simply order from the supplier website and they just keep the difference for you for themselves that's the simple definition of drop shipping now the question is and a lot of people get confused because of this one is drop shipping is really allowed is it within ebay terms and condition so first of all if you are drop shipping from the marketplaces. For example, Amazon, you're using Amazon as a supplier, you are using AliExpress as a supplier, some website which sell directly to the customer, directly to the retail customer. It's a very gray area. There is no simple yes and no answer right here. Those sellers who use the supplier, even some people, they use eBay as a dropshipping supplier to sell the item on eBay. They see some Chinese supplier selling a cheap item in China. They just simply use them as a dropshipping supplier. They see somebody selling a cheaper item on Amazon or AliExpress. They use them as a supplier as well. It's a very gray area. They will get away with it as long as they get away with it. And they will keep on getting away with it as long as they are dealing with the customer service. So if they are giving a smooth customer experience, they are not going to have any problem eBay is making money in the terms of fee that they are charging once they are selling something on a platform. Everybody is happy. And this is a gray area. Even though it's against eBay terms and condition, you're not going to have any problem. The second thing, if you are using some kind of proper dropshipping supplier, for example, the one I just showed it to you, these are legit dropshipping suppliers. They are not marketplaces. They don't sell directly to the customer. They only work with eBay, Amazon, and Shopify dropshipping 
drop shippers actually to fulfill their orders. These are allowed and they are within eBay terms and condition. So even if the eBay will ban your account, you can say you are just simply outsourcing your fulfillment. So they will give your account back to you. So this drop shipping, once you are using some kind of proper drop shipping supplier is within eBay terms and condition. But some people and a lot of people, they make good money by drop shipping from Amazon to eBay, by doing AliExpress to eBay, even doing eBay to eBay, they, they make good money and they get away with it and that's against eBay terms and, terms and condition but eBay know that and they are not very strict about it as well. I hope you understand and finally you will be able to make a decision for yourself. So first of all, it is super important to make your eBay account ready for the drop shipping. If you already have an account, that's fine but I hope you don't have a zero feedback. If you don't have an account, you can just simply come to eBay. I'm not gonna go through this one because it's very, very simple. All you have to do is put your name details. Make sure those details are correct because eBay do verify those. And a lot of account get banned because those details doesn't match. You don't want to have a problem later on. And a lot of people ask, can I start with a personal account or shall I need to go for a business account straight away? In my opinion, to be honest with you, if you want to be on a very, very safe side, start with a business account because you will be complying with each and every eBay terms and condition. Private account is just meant to be to get rid of old items which are lying around inside your house. And that's not the case here. So get started with the business account. It is free to create eBay account as well. But even if you start with the personal account, that's fine. Further down in the line, you can always upgrade your account. But I again, I recommend a business account as well. A lot of people do this mistake and pay very close attention to this one because once they will create an account, even if they already have an account, they're just going to start listing with by using some kind of software. They're going to bombard their eBay store with the listing as well, listing 10, 20, 50 item. That's how your account will get banned. You do not want to list straight away. If your account is new and you have a zero feedback, I highly recommend wait at least at least 21 days, three weeks and within those three weeks and 21 days, get the feedback on your account as a buyer. You can buy super cheap item from eBay, for example, charging cable for your phone, some other stuff that you need for your house. This is the way you're going to be getting feedback as a buyer. So the zero figure in front of your eBay username will be gone. This is the way you're going to get sales instantly as well. And also you're going to really prepare your account and be in a good books of eBay. If you just create your account, like in the morning and afternoon, you have listed 50 items like eBay going to think where those 50 items comes from. So you're going to take it very slow. First, you're going to prepare your account and this is all, you know, then massage your account and make it ready. This is really, really super important. I'm not joking because you don't want to get your account banned as well. So create your account, ideally business account, get it ready. And then now it's the time to actually look for a supplier and let's see what products we're going to be listing as well. So the drop shipping supplier, which I highly recommend, especially if you are somebody who want to give a faster delivery time to your customer within the UK or even in US as well, CLZ is a best drop shipping supplier. Obviously, I'm going to be sharing more drop shipping supplier as well. I also going to be sharing how you're going to pick the item, all that kind of stuff as well. I'm going to give you a full plan. Uh, I will leave the link for them inside the description as well. And the reason I say that because they have two to five days delivery time. Most of their items get delivered within two to three days anyway. And also on the top of that, they have a warehouse in UK. That's the reason they are able to provide a faster delivery time. Also, it is completely free to actually use their platform. They don't have any monthly membership or annual membership. All you have to do is to create a free account. And that's how you just simply get started. You know, my videos are not click and bait. You asked me in the beginning that I'm going to give you like all the free tools, nothing. I'm not going to mention any paid tools as well. So for that reason, you want to actually press the like button, subscribe to the channel. It will be massive help as well. 
Now let's talk about how you're going to be actually working with this particular dropshipping supplier. So first of all, once you're going to come on to the website, you will see for me, it show, shows log out option, but because I already have an account and I'm signed in, but for you, it's going to show up, let's say sign in option or sign up option. So all you have to do, just put your email address that any dummy can do it as well. There is no point of explaining that. Once you create an account, simply log in, you will be able to see the prices. You will notice some prices are here are inside the US dollar. These products are actually available in a US warehouse. So what you can do actually, if you are somebody who is targeting US customer and you are selling on eBay.com, then use the US supplier. But all the things right here, if within pound, they are the one which are in a UK warehouse, but we can filter them as well. Obviously we don't have to go through one by one. So if you just simply click on warehouse right here, you can come and click on UK warehouse. So it's only going to show you the products from UK warehouse within UK warehouse, the way you're going to get started and you have to pay very close attention to this one is new arrivals. New arrivals are something which are very relevant to whatever going on. So for example, Father's Day, Christmas, Halloween, costumes, decoration, all that kind of stuff as well. You're going to list some item from new arrivals and you're going to list some item from the best sellers as well. And how to actually proceed with those items, I'm gonna be explaining those things as well, but it is it is super important once you will click on a best sellers because sales, he actually collect the data. What items are doing good on eBay platform? What items are going do good on a Facebook? What items are going good on Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, all that kind of stuff as well. Because since we're talking about eBay, I'm just gonna be talking about eBay at the end of the day, but if you are selling on Shopify, Etsy, Amazon, you can do all that as well. So we are in a UK warehouse and I'm gonna click on best sellers. And after the best sellers right here, sales, you're gonna give me the data of the best selling item. You can see this cattle that we talked about is also right here as well. So these are the item which are selling on a regular basis. CLZ have a data from these items. So what I recommend you do, couple of things, you know, it, it is super important. I'm gonna go full screen because it is very important for you to understand. You wanna find the item from the catalog. They are already fast selling, but every item is not going to do well. For me, the item, the price for them, if it's under 50 pound, it's going to do better as compared to something which is very expensive because people don't think a lot if they're spending money under 50 pound. The second thing you want to keep in mind is you don't want to bombard your eBay store with a lot of listing. And the explanation is a little bit technical, but I'm going to give you a simple, really simple explanation for you to understand as well. A lot of dropshippers, they do this, this mistake. Once they will start a dropshipping business, if they are using some kind of software, they're just going to, you know, list, 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 list from everywhere. They're going to list 100, 200 items. Their account going to get banned. That's a worst case scenario. If the account will not get banned, then their sales conversion rate is going to be very, very lower. So what I recommend is get started with only five items first. Wait for at least one week and see if those items are getting at least, at least minimum, minimum 30 views or at least one sales. If those items are not getting that, remove them. Don't waste that space and then replace those listing with a newer item. Depending on whatever your target is, let's say your target is to make hundred pound a day. It can be higher, it can be lower, depending on whatever your target is, right? Ideally, the way I think about it is you start with a small profit margin. So let's say only three pound profit margin by one sales. In order for you to make hundred pound, you will only probably have to, and I'm talking about all worst case scenario. I'm not talking about like, you know, overhyped number, all that kind of stuff as well. If you manage to narrow down to each and everything after test and trial, you will come up with only 30 to 40 listings on 30 to 40 listings. 
even if you get one order in a day that's 40 order in a day we are not talking about getting 200 300 order from one listing from those listing even on one listing you only get one order that's 40 orders in a day 40 orders mean 120 pound profit but it's just a matter of patience with the patients, it's going to pay you off for a longer period of time in order for you to process 40 to 50 orders. It's simply going to take you less than one hour, even if you're not using a software. So the way you're going to do the listing and the way you're going to keep track of each and everything without a software, you go to the salesy website, first of all, and I'm going to pick one item here. I'm going to show you the listing process, all that kind of stuff as well. Let's say we decided to list this item, right? The first thing I like to do is to open this listing and then we will have to know what is the break even price for this one. And this is also super, super important thing to do to understand the break even price for the item because we don't want to price the item too high where customer won't buy it and we don't want to miss out on a profit as well. So let's say on 13, if we include 20% VAT as well, that's going to be, I believe, nearly £15 price for this one. My math is not good, so I hate doing live math. But let's say £15, right? This is with the VAT, it's already have a free shipping. And then you can see the quantity right here is 385 So before I list these items, I do a couple of things. Number one, you see this one right here down in the bottom. If you will go, it says set arrival and out of stock notification. You don't need some kind of software to get really notified about the stock. All you have to do is just turn this on and you're going to get the email once the item will go out of stock or when the item will come back in a stock if it's out of stock already. So first of all, we're going to turn this one on and then also see how many items are remaining. So 385, they have a decent quantity of this item. So we're going to get started with this item. And what we need to do, because £13 is a price with a VAT, let's say £15. So we need to find out break even price. So first of all, this is a website called eBay. Just if you go on a Google, I'm going to leave the link for that inside the description as well. Search eBay and PayPal fee calculator. Even though PayPal is not relevant nowadays, but still call eBay and PayPal fee calculator because that's what they've been calling it for a long time. So what we need to do here is to actually calculate, first of all, our break even price. If we know our break even price, we will be able to adjust our eBay listing price in order for us to make two pound or three pound profit margin, whatever the profit margin you wanna make. So selling price, leave it empty. And then shipping charge, leave it empty as well. And then also item cost is also £15. So this one is saying it's going to charge 30p in the terms of uh, eBay fee. But if I fill this one, let's say for £15 as well for, for this moment of time, we will have £2.22 fee for eBay. So we need to add 250 and if we need to make, uh, let's say three pound profit, I'm going to put the price 21 pound, you know? Okay. So if I put the price 21 pound, the fee is going to be three pound and then we're going to make three pound profit. So this item, which including the VAT right here on a salesy website, which is right here, it is 13 pound right here. This is uh, the cattle one. And if I list this item for £21 over to eBay, including VAT, all the fee, all that kind of stuff as well, I'm going to be making £3 profit margin. So which means we can list this price, we can list this item for £21 on eBay. In order for you to create a listing, it's very simple. This is obviously how the eBay listing tool is going to look like. All you have to do is just the copy and paste job, really. Copy the title, copy. You get the point. I'm not going to do, obviously, each and everything right here, but you get the point. In the terms of pictures, you want to take all the pictures as well. 
these are the pictures who are with the drop shipping supplier website so you're not going to have any problem in terms of copyright because they are there so you can use them to sell the items this is like kind of benefit of using drop shipping supplier that you can copy their description all that kind of stuff as well so this is a description as well all you have to do is just simply copy the description just you know copy and paste kind of job as well this will be super easy so we copy that one we come down right here and then we just paste the description the description is done as well in order for you to do the price is $21.99 but the super important thing for you to understand is you need to adjust your shipping according to how long they're gonna take to ship the item as well so once you come right here in the domestic shipping you're gonna do same cost to all buyers that's what you're gonna select and then in the terms of services right what i normally do i don't mention the courier because on the salesy website right here they are saying they're gonna take two to five working days so let's say five working days if the customer will get before that obviously they're gonna leave a positive feedback we but we're gonna mention maximum number of days because the things can go wrong all the time so if we come down right here in the ebay listing I will have to find five working days kind of a service. So if I go to, let's say this one, you can do, I normally, as I said, I don't mention if it's collect plus or Royal mail or whatever. I will select for this one, other courier three to five working days and then the job done. Right. And for the second service, you don't have to offer if you don't want to but i just put the maximum price but that doesn't really matter you won't see this one right here and if you're gonna like let's say you receive order in the morning and you want to process the order on the same working day by going on to sales e website which i'm going to show you as well how to keep track each and everything as well you can select the same working days but if you're somebody let's say well i'm gonna be at work so I might process the order in the evening then you can take one working day but ideally it's good just process in the same working day customer will get the delivery faster as well this is how you're gonna adjust the postage this is the main thing the rest of everything you can just simply copy from the listing on the salesy website right here as well the other thing what I do let's say I listed this item now and now obviously i'm gonna close this window is not gonna stay open for all the time what i do is i create an excel sheet on the side so i will do i will just write down i will say cattle if you're using some kind of drop shipping software you won't have to do this but we are not using it so if we, the reason we are creating this excel sheet the ebay item gave you and i show you what what do i mean by that eBay item, the item which I listed, if you're using with multiple suppliers, you can actually make one column for supplier as well. Once I do the listing, I will say I listed cattle. And what is the supplier? Uh, SKU, every website is going to show you this SKU number. And I'm going to show you how it's going to be beneficial but let's just deal with the the excel sheet the spreadsheet right now so we'll copy that number put that right here and the supplier for this one is actually sales e that's the supplier for this one so now i'm sitting down i receive order on ebay and now i will go i, I will see that okay the the order is for the cattle this is the sku number I will just simply go to the supplier website and once I go to the supplier website, let's say I'm right here on the main page, I'm going to refresh this one as well. I will refresh this one and I all I have to do is just put SKU number right here and then search. So because we already have a SKU number, this is the exact item going to pull up. So now I just simply go here and all I have to do and obviously the dummies can do this as well just add the item to the cart and proceed to buy the good thing with with sales e is like 
you can add multiple item inside the cart and every single item can have a different shipping address and you can pay for them all in one go this is a super helpful option if you're not using some kind of software this is going to be really really helpful as well so that's how you're gonna be fulfilling the order to summarize everything to see where we are at we're gonna be creating a business account we're gonna be going to the sales e we're gonna going to be in a best sellers right here on the sales e website and on a new arrival we're gonna be listing five items and see if they are getting sales if not we're gonna be replacing that with five more items and that's where we're gonna build up the catalog once we receive the order, we have our SKU numbers inside our, you can save a link as well, but I find it saving SKU number is, is easier. Once we receive the order, we will have a customer address and we can just simply search with SKU number and we can fulfill the order and keep the difference for ourselves. Now, Sales E obviously is a drop shipping supplier, one drop shipping supplier, and they have a, a section of new arrival and a bestseller. This is a great way to get started. But obviously, if you need more information, more kind of items, more items that you want to deal with, the other supplier, which is also a UK based drop shipping supplier, is called godropship.co.uk. Again, this is also free as well. And they have like tons of tons of item, literally tons and tons of item. And at the end of the day, the things are, the formula behind is, is absolutely same. Once you will see, they, they also give you the list of new arrivals and also, you know, relevant to the things which are, let's say Christmas, all that kind of stuff as well, just like a sales E. Once you will do that, save the link or save the SKU number because on the go dropship, they also have item code, which you can copy. You can see this item code right here. And in an Excel sheet, instead of sales E, you can put the suppliers go dropship as well. And once you receive the order, you will know where to go and how to process the order. And then just simply keep the difference for yourself as well. Look at the end of the day, if you are somebody who is getting started, this is a great way to get started. Few things I like to mention as well. If you are doing the things manually, obviously it's going to take time. And this video was not meant to be like against any software or any that kind of stuff as well. I use a software as well. So what I'm going to be doing soon, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with the software and how to automate each and everything. But the philosophy behind it, how everything work is also the same, but the things are little bit more automated. The software which I use for this one is called super DS. The reason I use for that, because it's a one off price it's the cheapest software and it just simply does the job as well. I will do the video like a complete step-by-step -step tutorial for that. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video. If we get to 200 likes, we're going to be giving away more drop shipping suppliers. But again, we have a full list of wholesale drop shipping suppliers in our zero to full time eBay selling course. Trust me, you're going to get tons of value in that course. And that is like a more advanced level information about drop shipping, about the product research about getting the items from China, about the retail arbitrage, and students are making great deal of money from it. We have a great testimonial, make sure you check that on our website. And once the video about the dropshipping software, which I recommend and which I personally use, which is called Super DS, I'm gonna be doing a video and I'm gonna link that inside the description once that video will be out. And it's might gonna show up right here as well. Probably by the time if you're watching this, knows as soon as i re release this video that might gonna show up right here as well thank you so much for watching my name is zen Shah. subscribe to the channel will be super helpful thank you